Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 12th annual Capital City Senior Games Celebration of Athletes. I'm Julie Montanero with WCTV, along with Senior Games aficionado Nick Gandy. Thank you. We are your co-hosts <laughs> this afternoon, and we're thrilled to welcome you on behalf of our primary sponsor, Capital Health Plan. We are here at the city of Tallahassee's beautiful Tom Brown Park. As you can see, we're overlooking the uh, pickleball courts, which are always busy and always popular with <laughs> athletes of all ages. And that's what we are here to do today. We are here to celebrate all of those athletes who competed in this year's senior games. And we want to thank all of the volunteers and partners who helped to make it possible. Nick, you've been involved in these games for decades. What is it about this competition that's so special? The Capital City Senior Games as well as the Florida Senior Games are special because it gives athletes a, over the age of 50 a chance to get out and compete once again maybe as they did when they were younger maybe they'll just try something new for the first time and a lot of people are sometimes intimidated because they don't think they can keep up with some of the more talented athletes but that's not what it's all about julie it's about getting out setting a goal achieving that goal and becoming better at something and having some fun while you're at it and meeting new friends some camaraderie absolutely yeah. and it's been such an accomplishment just to participate in the games this year after the year that we've had so it's wonderful to see everyone outdoors and competing once again we definitely want to thank our host the city of tallahassee parks and recreation and neighborhood affairs department as well as the tallahassee senior center we want to say a special thank you to mayor daly and all of our city commissioners who have supported the senior games and the Tallahassee's population over the age of 50. Thank you too to Ashley Edwards, the Director of Parks, Recreation and Neighborhood Affairs. She's been a cheerleader for these games, Nick, for since they started. All 12 years. Right? All 12 <laughs> years. We are so thankful for her support and also for trying to make sure that these games were held safely during this pandemic. So uh, very, very important. We also want to thank our co-sponsor, Audiology Associates. Not only do they sponsor the games, they also volunteer during the games. And to our athletes, uh, just to be a part of something like this this year uh, truly is an accomplishment. So we want to thank everybody who came. And they all did show up, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And Nick, um, you've been not only involved in these games, but games across the state of Florida for many years. Uh, you get to know some of these athletes and know their stories. So what are some of the, the big accomplishments this year? The, the most fun thing is to see the wide range of athletes from those who just turned 50 and are in their first senior games to those that are up into the 90s and we had that broad array of athletes this year we had 50 year old Ryan Burke who competed in eight sports 17 different events wow. and then we had 92 year old Fannie Mae Baker who was bowling and in bag toss and as well as Don Rapp a 93 year old sprinter unbelievable won, won a gold <laughs> medal and set a record in the 100 meter dash and there were a lot of 50 plus including myself which are the future of the senior games movement and we we want to keep this going for a long time so people are still competing into their 50s and 60s and 70s and staying healthy and, and apparently 80s and 90s too, exactly right? the whole the whole <laughs> variety of ages very inspiring that's for sure and you know something really interesting about the games this past year too athletes we had more athletes come from more states than ever before we've had athletes from alabama from georgia from massachusetts and michigan and ohio also north carolina thank you so much and and the people here in the big bend and throughout the state of florida i mean it was unbelievable representation from so far and so wide i think people were really ready to get out and enjoy the game one thing that's really different about the capital city senior games we're in the only qualifier in north florida in the spring all the other ones are in the fall, Pensacola, Jacksonville, and Gainesville. So it makes a, a nice opportunity for people to come to North Florida in the spring, Absolutely. our best time of the year. Welcome to Tallahassee. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the weather especially. So if you're watching tonight and you're from somewhere outside of this Big Bend area, we would love to hear from you. Join the chat on Zoom or post a comment on Facebook and let us know where you are and what sports you competed in. And again, we want to thank you so much for coming to Tallahassee, enjoying this beautiful city. We hope you enjoyed the competition, and we hope you enjoyed the camaraderie as well. 
This year we hosted, listen to this, 12 different sports at 11 different venues all across the city, thanks to uh, the city of Tallahassee and lots of volunteers and partners out there. And Nick, this year we also managed to set lots of new records. Tell me about that. One of the things that's very special about the games here in Tallahassee is the, the different facilities that we were able to host the, the events at. We get to show off all of our parks and recreation facilities and those here in Tallahassee, like at the bowling alley in the Capitol Lanes, just across Capitol Circle from us. Kyle Kilga, a bowler in the 60 to 64 age group, set her fourth and fifth record this past Friday in women's and mixed doubles in the 60 to 64 inch group. And she also holds records in the 55 to 59 age group in women's singles, doubles, and mixed. So she knows her way around the bowling alley. And at Heilman Park yesterday on the golf course, a gentleman, Don Deneen, 87 years old, was one stroke shy of, of his age when he shot an 88 oh to set goodness. the record in the 85 to 89 age group. He's 87 years old, he shot an 88. Maybe he can get it again next year. Just incredible. At the Myers Park Pool, Wade Wee Hunt Pool, Mark Hansen, swimming in the 70 to 74 age group, set six records. Oh but, the, but the thing about it is he did it in the six toughest events. The butterfly, the individual medley, which is all four strokes, yep. the freestyle and the breaststroke, the backstroke and the butterfly and the 400 yard so that's a lot of laps that and he set in the laps. 500 freestyle which is 20 laps incredible 20. <laughs> incredible and that's not all the records <laughs> and that's I mean, not all incredible list at of our, athletes and their accomplishments at the track and field competition a woman who came from Cocoa Beach Jocelyn Lowther she set a javelin throw record and a discus record but the fun part about it is she threw the javelin with her sister to set the record, and she bought the javelin for her sister for her birthday. <laughs> you ever get a birthday gift like a javelin? Never, never. <laughs> That's the first, for sure. <laughs> That's so cool. And there were a lot more, and we'll oh talk goodness. to some of our record holders here in a, in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can't wait to introduce you to some of them. They're joining us here at the city of Tallahassee's Tom Brown Park to celebrate the athletes in this year's senior games. Now, we want to know who's watching out there. So we ask that when your sport is called that you go ahead and comment on Facebook or join the chat on Zoom. We'd love to hear from you, whether you are here in Tallahassee or far, far away, maybe in Michigan or Massachusetts and you're watching this afternoon. Let us know where you are and what sport you competed in. And uh, we're going to see which sport has the most participation tonight in the celebration of athletes. That would be fun to have people of all different sports chiming in and telling what they did and how many medals they won and how much they enjoyed themselves here at the Capital City Senior Games. It sounds good. <laughs> and we want to start with the sport of bowling. Singles on Friday, bowling doubles the next Friday I at bowled. Capital Lane. How'd you do? <laughs> I won a gold medal uh, in, in, in mixed doubles with my partner, Sheila Salyer, and I won a silver medal in singles. Well, congratulations. <laughs> you should have worn them today, right? Uh, I missed my opportunity. <laughs> yes. Also, we want to hear from archery participants this afternoon. Tell us where you are, and of course, we want to thank our partner at the Tallahassee Archery Club for making that event happen as well. <laughs> Track and field events, those held at Godby High School this year. Please let us know if you participated in track and field and where you are tonight. The track at Godby is, is really nice. The athletes have a good opportunity to get out there and go as quickly as they can and, and a very, very good facility for the track and field. I was going to say, and it doesn't matter what time you drive by the track at Godby High School in the afternoon or evening, it is busy. All kinds of people walking and running and it's just a beautiful thing to see. So I'm, I'm so glad to hear the senior athletes enjoy that facility. Also, we hosted horseshoes at Forest Meadows. So let us know if you're out there tonight and you pitched horseshoes and let us know how you did. And then the bag toss at Jake Gaither. <laughs> The bag toss is one of the most fun events of the Capital City Senior Games, <laughs> if you ask me. At the Gaither Community Center, the people that come and, and do the activities there, they make up the majority of the athletes, and it is just a raucous time. <laughs> there's, there's hooting and hollering, back slapping, encouraging. 
anyone can be in bag toss, and, and, and it's and when you do it, you'll have a good time. And that's what sports is about, exactly. right? That's right. Getting out, <laughs> getting active, and having a good time. So let us know if you participated in bag toss or a medal winner in that event. Also, pickleball, right? Gosh, we have some senior athletes who are playing behind us right now at Tom Brown Park. So if you played pickleball, let us know. And then, of course, swimming at Wade Wee Hunt Pool down in Myers Park. Are there any swimmers out there tonight? Let us know. And then uh, this is always fun, basketball shooting at Sue McCollum Center. It's harder than you think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that because I have a basketball hoop in my driveway and I get out there with visions of uh, these uh, three-pointers. <laughs> All right. And, uh, of course, the director of these games, Sheila Salyer, she participated in basketball. And this afternoon, uh, she's standing right over there, right off camera, and she wants to challenge all of her former Lincoln Girls High basketball players. As soon as you turn 50, she says, you better join and participate in the senior game. Sounds like fun. And then tennis. Wow, tennis always popular out at beautiful Forest Meadows. It's a, a facility where they host a national tournament so the local athletes get a chance to play on the clay courts which they favor it helps with their knees <laughs> and it's a facility that hosts international level athletes and table tennis at jack mclean community center cycling golf of course you mentioned at a beautiful Heilman golf course just yesterday so and, and 75 golfers out there yesterday morning the perfect day for it so if you participated in any of our senior game sports let us know which games you participated in where you are and if you won any medals and most importantly did you have a good time <laughs> that's a lot of sports and a lot of athletes so we're thrilled that you could join us for this year's competition we have with us some of those athletes today here at Tom Brown Park our first athlete is Susan Nichols. Susan, will you come, come over here over. and tell us about your experience this way over here? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. Sure. Well, good <laughs> to see you. Glad you're here. Susan was one of those swimmers, and she also set a record. I believe it was in the IM, 100 IM. You yes. may not even know that. No, I'm still rounding up some few things that I left at the pool, <laughs> like, a, like shirts and medals. And, but anyway. Well, that's exciting. Yes, it was so much fun this year because we we did get our 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 events in last year. Um, they shut down like two days the pandemic, so we we did get swimming in last year. But it was so good to see everybody out and about, and um, it was really fun this year. And tell us a little bit about your background. What's your background in swimming? Well, I swam. I was not an athlete as a child, but my last year in college, the little college I went to, started a swim team, and so I swam for a year, and then. Got out, had kids, and about 10 years later, I started swimming um, at Myers Park to kind of get back in shape. And then somebody talked me into, um, d told me about the senior games. And I'm like, well, sure, I'll try that. So <laughs> one thing led to another. And um, going to the, the state games um, probably eight or nine times. And wow. I actually went to the um, national games twice, which was really fun. Um, I mean amazing athletes but it was fun <laughs> now this year is also a qualifying year for the national senior games in may of 2022 in fort lauderdale are you following that same path again this year to the capital city games to the florida games to the national games i probably will be doing that especially because it is in our state um uh, two years ago it was in um albuquerque and i'm all about the destination whether it's i swim <laughs> or not but so um but we will probably there are some friends that i don't see unless we go compete somewhere um and cause we all swim at different pools around town and so it's fun to get together with them and do a trip so i'm sure we'll be there <laughs> and i know that you had some issues with the altitude in Albuquerque you won't have to worry about that this year in Fort Lauderdale yes that's very true there you don't realize there's no air till you're in the water and it was like it didn't seem like anyone else did but there were like amazing groups in Colorado and um I saw them afterwards as people were touring around and they were all you know talking about all the training they did up in the mountains before they swam I'm like oh my gosh I just got here two days ago <laughs> well that's so. a 
one of the things that makes the games fun too, not just the camaraderie and the competition, but the fact that you get to visit different cities and see what they have to offer. So thanks to everyone uh, who visited Tallahassee and thank you, Susan, for your continued thank you. participation. Appreciate Congratulations. It. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Susan. And we want to thank so many sponsors who helped to make this possible. Our primary sponsor, of course, Capital Health Plan. Thank you so much to Tom Glennon and Tony Kilgore for making this event so special year after year. Also, we want to thank again Audiology Associates, Lisa Myrick and Melissa Corson and their team. You will always see them uh, volunteering as well during the swimming competition. We also want to thank our partners, Nick. Visit Tallahassee Sports Council, the Florida Sports Foundation, Friends of Our Parks, the Tallahassee Senior Foundation, and of course, the City of Tallahassee's Parks, Rec, and Neighborhood Affairs Department. Thank you to WCOT, the city communications team, the people behind the cameras today, Tom Bronikowski, <laughs> Damian Farmer, for filming the torch run in the games this year so they can share them with the entire community. They air on WCOT in the next few weeks, so make sure you tune in and uh, share that information with your friends all across the country. Now, Julie, we mentioned this gentleman before and earlier in the program, Ryan Burke, who recently just turned 50. And set the record this year for participating in the most sports he signed up for eight now oh, i wow. saw you at the bowling the golf pickleball swimming and track and field yeah. Did, were you at the bag toss cycling and basketball tuning as well that's correct <laughs> and, uh, and the basketball broke my heart uh, hats off to keith it comes down to the last second shot he wins it <laughs> shoots it for the gold so now was that in the in the time shooting yeah, it was in the time shooting we had one minute and we did it three times in the, in the spots and literally he goes i didn't keep track i saw you keeping score man I, it goes it would be too much pressure and i was like i was dying he sits back he pops it for the gold so it was oh. fun it's a good time he said and for the senior games and for all the people out there he said thanks for the competition and it really was a good time to come down to the wire meet some new people and have a good time yeah, i was gonna say i love a good buzzer beater don't yeah, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I be on the other side of, of course it. <laughs> of course now all right so you're online you choose to register to be in the capital city senior games what's going through your mind when you're checking eight boxes of different sports nick i have to be honest with you i so i had to call my friend i said hey they're, they're 15 dollars each i signed up for the track and I go, which one should I do? The javelin, the shot for the disc? And he goes, oh, you're going to hurt yourself with a javelin. <laughs> he goes, and that disc, you spinning around. He goes, that could be a lot of good comedy there. He goes, just do that shot put. So when I clicked on the shot put after I signed up for the initial event, lo and behold, it was only $3 three, yeah. for every event after that. Being a financial planner, I wanted to say, hey, how can I turn this down? This is no way I can walk away from this opportunity. So then from there, I clicked on all the other events and I, I played uh, football, baseball, basketball, track and golf in high school. We were state champs and I got it. Graceville Tigers. Woo -woo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you couldn't wait to compete again. Yeah, so it was good to get out there. And I, I have to, a little secret, in pickleball years and in senior game years, I'm 50, but I don't turn 50 until September. So you little, still qualify. So still qualifies yeah. for all you guys out there that think that you're too young. No, no. <laughs> so of the eight sports, tell us what was the easiest for you and what was the toughest? Oh, that's simple. Bag toss. Come on out. Bag toss, baby. And then uh, I was throwing it incorrectly, and uh -huh. a gentleman walked to the gym, and he said, hey, let me help you out. You've got to take it. you got to do a backflip. I had not put one on the board. I haven't hit, though. can't get one to stick. I get three in a row. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the toughest? I don't know. If, uh, I mean, I think I need to sign a compliance thing, but I'm not a swimmer. Found out I'm not a swimmer. And then on the third event, felt like I was drowning. <laughs> we, we talked about that at the pool the other night. I tried swimming a few years ago because growing up in Florida, Everyone's a good swimmer, but a competitive swimmer is a completely different story. Nick, you and I talked about that after. You uh -huh. said, Ryan, swimming's fun. Competitive swimming's really hard. <laughs> but you got to give it a try, you and you did. Yeah, and absolutely. and we thank you for your competition oh, this year. And you have a very long future ahead right, of you in the, in the senior game. I'm looking to set some games. records in my 80s. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, Ryan. I'm sure we'll have you back. <laughs> no, I hope to be here. Thanks again. Thanks Appreciate so it. much, Let's you know. Back. And just that joy and that spirit of competing in the games, right? Sign me up for everything. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. I, I love to hear that. Thank and that's you. what I do. I try something different every year. This year I did the 1,500-meter power walk. 
at God Be High School. Oh, man. So, yes, we'd love for you to check it out. And we, of course, want to thank you and recognize all our volunteers for making the games possible this year. And a shout-out to our volunteer photographer, Don Ruane. He spent so many hours taking pictures at these events and then uploading them to the Senior Center. They're, they're all on the Tallahassee Senior Center Facebook page. Yeah, so head to their Facebook page. You can see all of those incredible photos and really kind of get an essence of the spirit of these games. And, uh, and if you were one of the athletes who was captured in those photographs maybe you can relive your shining moment when you, you when you won that race or put that medal around your neck so congratulations to all of you it takes a lot of hands and a lot of minds to make these games work so if you're a volunteer out there and you're watching thank you thank you thank you we encourage you to comment on facebook or to chat on zoom and let us know what this experience means to you we so appreciate you being a part of these games so many, you know, we mentioned all the different sports at all the different venues, and it just takes a lot of coordination. Uh, and we don't talk a lot about that behind the scenes, but if you worked behind the scenes making this all happen, thank you so much, and thank you to the City Parks and Rec Department for lot, running the show. A lot happens that the athletes never even realize happen, that there might be something going on, but as long as they're out there and they're competing, there's a bunch of people behind the scenes making sure that it it goes on but it goes smoothly that's the weather so and the weather even cooperated <laughs> with us the whole time you can't even say that in <laughs> tallahassee for very long so yeah. that's great news we also want to thank our venue partners this year the tallahassee archery club capitol lanes godby high school all the parks and rec centers throughout this beautiful city and behind the scenes we want to thank cindy mead christy carter karen castor sheila salyer for all of those who keep these games running so smoothly we would love to hear some of your applause share it with us right now on facebook and on zoom thank you for such a great job in making these games happen <laughs> and nick we have another athlete with we us have, today we want to celebrate we have one final athlete ms dolores chavis now ms uh, chavis she wore her medal she today. wore her medal yes. and she earned those medals in the early part of the 10 plus day event she did her five events in the first four days of the Capital City Senior Games. Here was her schedule. Oh, yeah, listen on to this. On Friday, she bowled. That was the first day, April 30th. Then on Saturday, May 1st, at the track meet, she threw the discus and the shot put. On Sunday, she rode the 5K time trial cycling event out in the Apalachicola Forest and then went to Forest Meadows Racquet Club for horseshoes so she covered a lot of miles to get yes. those to get those events in and then she ended it on monday with bag toss was that tough on you miss chavis yes it was really <laughs> tough on me more especially the uh bicycle and i really that was the toughest part because i was not really prepared with my bike i used a bike that i've had for a long time but it didn't fail me because i began the race and I end the race. Yeah, and you finish the most I important finish. part. And some of those athletes that were out there have bicycles that are thousands of oh, dollars. Yeah. Yours was not, right? <laughs> Mine was not. No. Mine was big and heavy, but I, I said I was determined I was going to do it because this was my first time. So I d made up in my mind I was going to tackle it anyway. And I did. And I made it from the beginning all the way to the finish line. And she set a record in the 5K, right? In that 3.1 miles. Did you even know that? <laughs> no, I did not know that. I did not. But wow, I'm so, I'm elated about myself. <laughs> not only is her name now in the Capital City Senior Games record book for cycling, but you had a shot put throw of 17 feet to set a record in the 75 to 79 age group, correct? Oh, yes, I did. I was informed of that this morning because I did not know that when that was my first time to compete in the shot put. But I'm so elated about it and I enjoyed it. You enjoy so many different people that you meet out there. It's just it's just some, it just does something to you. Everyone should get out there and do it, more especially at my age. There, there you have it. You have 50 year old Ryan, not even 50 year old Ryan Burke telling you to get out there and give it a try. You get to meet people like Ryan and Ms. Chavis, who's now in the 75 to 79 age group. Get out there and give it a shot, and you might set a record, right? You, you might set a record. <laughs> I did. And, and I am so happy about it. And my supervisor for my son is really elated about it. <laughs> well, and you wore your medals today. How many did you win, and what, uh, what are they? 
I got I received the bronze bell on Friday for bowling. I came in third place. I came in first place with the uh, cycling, first place with the horseshoe. I came in first place with the shot put, first place with the discus, <laughs> first place with the bag toss. All right. <laughs> This oh, is what wow. it's all about, folks. This yeah. is what it's all about right here. Can't and, and wait to see what you do next year, right? <laughs> oh, I'm going to be more prepared with my bike. If I have to make a sacrifice and buy myself a up-to-date bike, I'll be there next year. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank there, you. Wow. There's your challenge as a potential Capital City Senior Games athlete. You heard it from Ms. Chavitz herself. <laughs> you know, it's so incredible to hear these stories of, of, game, of competition after competition. And you can tell they love the win, right? They love the win, but they also love the people right. that they're competing with mm -hmm. and celebrating life, really, and celebrating health with through these games. Exactly, and and not after they finish here, you know, there's qualifiers around the state in the fall that start up in September. This is the final spring qualifier, but there's other qualifiers in the fall, like I said, Gainesville, Jacksonville, Pensacola, that these athletes can go to just to keep on top of their game. And then the Florida Senior Games in December in Fort Lauderdale, where... I mean, you get to go to destinations, like Susan said. You go and you see the same people at these events, and a lot of the athletes tell me all the time, I get to go and see these people at those events, and that's what keeps me coming back, is I see these people once a year or twice a year at the senior games. And, and it's really the main draw besides the competition. Yeah, very, very special combination. That is for sure that you find in the Capital City Senior Games and in Senior Games at the state and national level as well. So next year we have a lot planned. We are going to bring back that fun walk for everybody. Water aerobics, racquetball, and, and I understand that the power lifters also will have an extra year to train. So uh, I hope you're getting ready out there and, and making those lifts. Something that's really cool about the fun walk and the water aerobics, it's non-competitive, but it gets the people out to see the rest of what's going on they say oh i can do water aerobics i can do a fun walk but then the, they see ryan they see susan they see dolores and they say wow if they can do it i can do it so there it is there it is <laughs> and we want to thank all of the athletes who competed in these games thank you so so much for coming to tallahassee and being a part of this congratulations on your accomplishments whether you racked up all those gold medals or you walked home without any being here is just a joy and an incredible accomplishment in this year. So before we go, we want to say uh, special wishes to all of those athletes who qualified for the state senior games. We want to wish you the very best of luck. That's coming up in Fort Lauderdale, December 4th through the 12th. So a uh, long summer of training ahead. 24 sports in the Florida Senior Games. This will be the 30th annual Florida Senior Games this year. And we know all of the athletes who uh, competed here will represent Tallahassee so well. Uh, and as these athletes have shared with you, you are never too old to go for the gold. Exactly. <laughs> When they're 50 or 99 or 100. We've had 100-year-olds <laughs> in the Florida Senior Games. <laughs> oh, what incredible. And now we want Sheila Salyer to join us. She's directed these My bowling games. partner. <laughs> <laughs> right, and your bowling partner. There we go. <laughs> Sheila, thanks for all your hard work and getting all of this together. It must be such a joy. Well, thank you, Julie and Nick. Uh, I'm not so sure about being an athlete still, but... Uh, <laughs> It's been a lot of fun. Like Nick says, it's the camaraderie, it's the fellowship. It's sometimes I only see these people once a year, especially my uh, Deborah Salter, who keeps beating me in basketball every year. <laughs> I keep taking silver. Uh, but I do, do enjoy the camaraderie. It's a lot of fun. Uh, thanks again to Capital Health Plan, Audiology Associates, for sponsoring these great events with the Capital City Games so they could happen. Um, thanks to our staff and everybody that uh, helps out behind the scenes. It's a huge team effort. It yes. takes all these pieces to make this a success, and I'm grateful for all of them and all they're doing with logistics and recognitions. But this is really, again, this is about the athletes. Mm -hmm. And we just want to thank them so much for coming out this year in this crazy year, <laughs> but for their flexibility. They showed up. They took part. They were enthusiastic, and most of all, they were grateful for, for being here. And that just made it so much meaningful to us. 
and we were just so glad to be able to do this. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this virtual event, uh, but believe me, we are as ready as you are to be back in person live in 2022. <laughs> so keep practicing, stay active, and come and see us at our parks, our recreation centers, and the Tallahassee Senior Center. So long for now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.